Welcome visionaries to my channel. It is me, Ardell, where I share with you all the newest, latest, and updated trends in my life. So let's get started. Today's topic is definitely going to be all things nutrition for the brain. The brain is one of the most complex organs within your body. So why have I not looked into this further when it comes to ADHD and mental health? because I've just never thought of it, that's why. So I've looked into it for you to the best of my ability and I'm gonna try with the best of my ability to like regurgitate this information all over you like a bird does to its chicks. Now, obviously, please continue to do your own research. This is what I've found at this point now. So if you know more than I do, let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna be sharing with you the four nutrients that I've looked into that are amazing for brain health. Starting off is omega-3 fatty acids. What do omega-3 fatty acids even do for your body? They help increase the levels of dopamine in your body, which is actually what ADHD medications are designed to do. I've never even known what dopamine does. Dopamine is an important chemical that increases the level of your reward system, the feel-good chemical in your brain. It also increases your level of motivation, memory, and attention. Foods to include in your diet if you want to add more omega-3 fatty acids into your diet are foods such as salmon, tuna, sardines, walnuts, eggs, flaxseed, flaxseed oil, fish oil, kale, spinach, Brussels sprouts, and things of that nature. I happen to luck out and realize I love all those foods. The only food that I'm really particular on is sardines. I've recently discovered that I love sardines only from Trader Joe's. I don't know if you can hear my neighbors down below, if you can. <laughs> Welcome to my life. The second nutrient that is amazing for your brain is antioxidants. <laughs> What is an antioxidant and what does it do? What does it do? Antioxidants defend your cells from damage caused by free radicals. When free radicals are allowed to just run them up within your body, it causes your body to go into something called oxidative stress, which I didn't even know what that was. When your body is in oxidative stress, that is basically when the free radicals outnumber the antioxidants within your body. And the number one things that happens to your brain when free radicals are allowed to run amok is neurodegenerative diseases, including Alzheimer's and dementia. Eating a lot of antioxidants helps with anti-aging for your brain and for your skin. But for your brain, it helps keep your brain young. Now, what foods can you add to your diet that are high in antioxidants, you might ask? One being my new favorite addiction is blueberries, but other than just blueberries, it's raspberries, blackberries, strawberries, all the berries. They're very good for you. Oh, that was so just easy to go that way. Kale, spinach, red cabbage, and beets. I definitely want to look into juicing. We might have another video coming up soon. I encourage you to find out what other foods are high in antioxidants and add them into your diet. And if you've discovered anything that I don't know, please leave them in the comment section below and let's help each other out. Nutrient number three that is really good for your brain, also a vitamin that is good for your brain, is vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 improves cognition and helps prevent cell death within the brain itself. It boosts memory and helps with mental focus. And that is something that again, that anybody can benefit from. So foods that are naturally high in vitamin B12 or that you can incorporate into your diet that I would recommend you eat, again, as organic as possible, is trout, salmon, sardines, beef. Liver is a really, really high in vitamin B12 food. Basically any organ meat. And I know that that is taboo, but my sister made a mean liver pate and I was ready to pate with the pate. <laughs> So the last nutrient that I have looked into for brain health is phytonutrients. Phytonutrients is an anti-inflammatory. It's also another antioxidant and good for the brain. It helps repair and optimize brain cells. Isn't this such an exciting scientific video? Now, one thing I'm excited that I looked into with phytonutrients is a high in phytonutrient cocktail. It is green tea, turmeric, ginger, lemon, and rosemary boiled into a tea and then you drink it on the go and it helps with your phytonutrients. Oh my God, this is just way too bright. The lighting has changed because the sun was blaring in my face. But let's continue on to find out what are high in phytonutrient foods that you can add to your diet. So high in phytonutrient foods are as follows. Nuts, including walnuts, almonds, cashews, pistachios, which by the way, walnuts are also very rich in omega-3s. Some of these things kind of repeat themselves, kind of like two birds with one stone kind of thing. So other foods that are really chock full of phytonutrients are 
red, orange, and yellow fruits and vegetables, including tomatoes, carrots, peppers, peaches, mangoes, lemons, and other citrus fruits, which I love citrus, so that was very exciting for me to read because I put lemon and lime on mostly everything. Other foods naturally high in phytonutrients are onions, garlic, leeks, chives. If you like to zhuzh things up with your meals, definitely add those to a breakfast omelet, etc. And then another repeat offender is dark leafy greens. Apparently these are just good for many things. Last but not least, the phytonutrient that I am so excited made it onto the list is dark chocolate. But, and there is a but, it has to be 85% or higher because more on this later, sugar is a poison to your brain. Definitely has a more bitter taste, but you will get used to it. The less sugar you eat over time, your body will be adjusted to that. I love 85% dark chocolate. Never thought I would like it at all. I am going to be doing just that and adding many of these items into my diet. I swear to God there's a ghost in my house. <clears throat> now that the poltergeist is taken care of. I really hope that you got something out of this video. If anything, I encourage you to look into more nutrition for your brain for yourself. I hope that I've given you the nudging and the inspiration to envision a better brain for yourself, which is a better future for yourself. Without a good functioning brain, we're not gonna have a good functioning life. So I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. Please, if you found out any information and you wanna share this with your friends, please do so. Let me know if you like this video by giving it one big thumbs up. If you're enjoying what you see, subscribe to my channel and click that gray bell to be notified the moment I upload another video every Wednesday. And don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below if you have any other tips and tricks of the trade of anything nutrition and anything that we can do to change our diets and change our minds. Definitely knowledge is power. The more we know, the more we grow. And I do want to finish this video off by saying I so appreciate every single one of my visionaries. Every single one of you that found my channel, I believe it is because you're looking to envision your life better than it is now. And the more that we work together to grow, the more we envision better lives for ourselves, the more we inspire others to do the same thing. And that is the whole reason why I started this channel is because I just had an oomph in my heart to put something out there to better the world, to make it a better, place for people that have a mind that doesn't function the way everybody else's mind does. And I know that mine is in that tribe. So thank you so much for watching this channel and follow me on Instagram if you want to go along with me on a more up-to-date scoop of my story and day-to-day -day what I'm up to. And for those of you that follow me, I've been working out, adding working out to my lifestyle. And this week I'm going to be adding more nutrition into my life, specifically everything I've been learning this past two weeks. So thank you so much for watching and have a good rest of your day. Bye.